Okay. President Muhammad Buhari has inaugurated the End Malaria Council in line with the African Union Assembly Declaration. At the event, President Buhari said eradicating malaria will save Nigeria from the estimated economic burden totaling about 687 billion naira in 2022 and 2 trillion naira by the year 2030. State House correspondent Femi Akonde has more. The inauguration of this council brings Nigeria closer to contributing to the reduction in the cases of malaria worldwide. According to the latest World Malaria Report published by the World Health Organization in December last year, there were an estimated 241 million malaria cases and 627,000 malaria deaths. Currently, Nigeria has the highest number of cases among the four African countries that account for just over half of all malaria deaths worldwide. President Muhammadu Buhari wants the newly inaugurated End Malaria Council to turn the tide and cause a drastic drop in the number of malaria cases and deaths. He also says this will save the country more than 2 trillion naira by 2030. Our inauguration today will therefore ensure that malaria elimination remains a priority on our agenda with strong political commitment from leaders at all levels. Additionally, the End Malaria Council will provide a platform to advocate for more funding to protect and sustain progress made so far by our country. For Aliko Dangote, he accepts the challenge and the responsibility to lead the fight against malaria in a country that is the worst hit. But he says the council will work hard to achieve this mandate. Together, we will work hard to ensure that malaria elimination remains high on Nigeria's uh, agenda with strong political commitment from leaders at all levels. We will advocate at the national and state levels to ensure sufficient funding for malaria elimination. This End Malaria Council is expected to also attract more funding from foreign donors and development partners that will propel the country towards achieving an ambitious goal of eradicating malaria. According to the federal government, the country currently needs 1.89 trillion naira to reduce malaria prevalence and mortality by 2025. One of the main challenges to attainment of these targets is insufficient funding for interventions at national and sub-national levels such that the implementation of the National Malaria Strategic Plan of 2014 to 2020 was suboptimal. Of course, due to the limitation of funds in 13 out of the 36 states and federal capital territory. Beyond improving the quality of life, health and well-being of Nigerians, the concerted strategy to tackle malaria has both public health as well as socioeconomic benefits. President Buhari says the membership of the council reflects the government's commitment to significantly reducing the malaria burden in Nigeria to a level where it is no longer a public health issue. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.